Hey, welcome folks. Uh, you're joining uh, the action in the top of the eighth inning. And uh, the score is three to two with Stalmeyer versus Stange. And Stange now, I just noticed, um, um, he's doing pretty well in seven innings. Uh, he's getting up one, two, three, four, five, five hits. And uh, it's Bobby Mercer leading it all, leading off the top of the eighth inning. It's a three to two game. Boston is up at Fenway Park. And uh, it's Bobby Mercer, and here's the pitch from Stange, and it's swung on, and it's listed deep to right field, and it looks like it's a ballpark potential home run, and so we rolled a two, a, a two off a right-handed pitcher, 11 is a ballpark, potential ballpark home run. So let's look here at Boston, Fenway Park. It's a one, two uh, versus um, lefty batters. It's a one to five. And we, we just rolled a three. So that's a deep drive to right field. And back goes the right fielder, Conigliaro, to the track, to the wall. Looks up. It's out of here. The game is tied at three. Bobby Mercer leads off the top of the eighth with a round tripper against Lee Stange, and the game now is tied at three apiece. So next uh, next roll was uh, Roy White, and uh, we rolled a six on the white die, and then a three, I wrote that down here, uh, a three and a two. The t game's tied up at three. If with the Mercer home run here in the top of the eighth, and it's Roy White, the batter. He's a switch hitter, so he's batting from the left side against Lee Stange. And we rolled a six and a, a five. You can see righty, so that's going to be off uh, off Stange's card versus a lefty. It's going to be on the left side against a left-handed batter. A six and a five is a ground ball to second base. Now, it has the bullet, but he is not, even though he's in his danger zone, his limit, as a starter, which is six, um, he has not given up the number of uh, base uh, uh, runners to, to fall into that category. So um, it's a six and five. It's going to be a ground ball to second base. Second baseman is Andrews, and that's out number one. Next is going to be Joe Pepitone. Joe, Joe Pepitone's flight out to center three consecutive times in this game. We are replaying the Stoudemire Memorial 69 season. He stands at 2-1 and one right now. He was 20-14 and 14 in the 69 season with over 300 innings pitched and a 282 ERA. So he's a uh, pretty good pitcher and a class guy in New York for many years with both the Mets and the Yankees. That's a 4. That's going to be off stage card against a lefty. 5. A 4-5 four, is a fly ball to right field. The 4th fly out for Pepitone. And it's Jimmy Hall, who's two for three. He's doubled and singled. Here's a pitch from Stange. It's a 1-7. A 1-7, that's ball four. That's ball four. And it's Tommy Tresh. And that's a 3-6. A 3-6 um, against a right-hander. It's going to be a walk. So back-to-back -back walks. Now that's three base runners uh, in one inning, but not three consecutive base runners. I think the rule is consecutive base runners. And I can't really remember off the top of my head. I'm not, I'm not a, a, a stratomatic expert here. I can't totally remember uh, if it's three consecutive base runners, or I know it's four in two innings, but in the seventh, he allowed no base runners. So I can't remember, and I'm not, I know I'm not going to find it now. Unless somebody tells me, um, it's not going to, we're not going to know. Uh,
We will not know. So the bullet, what is the bullet? Is the bullet three consecutive or is it uh, in one inning? You know what? I can, I can resolve this issue very quickly. Just resolve the issue by bringing in uh, a reliever, which I could do by at this point. It's late in the game. He's passed his his six. So let's look quickly and uh, bring in a reliever. And I'm sure somebody will let me know about the bullet. Is it three consecutive in an inning or is it just three in an inning? In other words, he gave up the home run and then later he gave up two walks. So that would be three in an inning. But I believe it's three consecutive in one inning or it's um, four in two innings. And those obviously don't necessarily have to be consecutive, I, I, I don't believe. So let's look quickly at Boston and see who they have as relievers. Um, start with Ken Brent, Lombard, potential reliever, Sonny Siebert, potential reliever. Oh, I have actually the relievers. I wrote them right here. Landis, Lyle, and Nagy. So let's see. Let's try to go in order here. Let's see if we can find Landis. It's not easy to get through these cards. Uh, you know, they're very, very thin. They're kind of warping on me. And it's hard to manipulate these cards. Landis. Landis. I don't see Landis anywhere. Righty, Cambrett. All right, so here are my pitchers. I've got Lyle, and uh, they both pitched in this game. Maybe I'm looking for Landis. I don't believe I have Landis. Russ, Culp, Satriano, O'Brien. Then I have these two. I don't think I have any other pitchers. Let's quickly look here. I have Kem Brett, Jim Longboard, Sonny Siebert. I do have some more pitchers. Jarvis. Bill Lee, I have a bunch more. Oh, Bill Landis, there he is. Okay. All right. Got Bill Landis, bringing him in now. He is a, uh, a lefty. Let's take a look. Gibbs is a lefty, so that works out. So, uh, Gibbs Landis is going to face Tresh Walk. And now Gibbs... He's going to left. He's going to face Landis. So that works out perfectly. And I'll show you how I do this now. I grab a, a color and I color in where the reliever comes in. Uh, Bill Landis. He's going to be blue. There we go. All right. So he's going to face Gibbs with runners on first and second with two outs. So let's roll for him, and that's a 5-7. So that's going to be off Landis' card against a lefty. 5-7 is a single split die, 1-5, to five. and that would score at least one run there. And it's a 5. It's a base hit. And no, won't, uh, will it score a run? Uh, no, because it's, it's the single has one star, so it tells you that the um, – the runner on second base stops at third. And now we have Stylemeyer up. Hmm. And this creates a situation because um, we're going to have to potentially bring in a pinch hitter here for the Yanks. And uh, they didn't really use any pinch hitters in this game, but I know they have Bill Robinson available. And uh, so they're going to bring in Bill Robinson. And he will pinch hit. So we're pulling Stottlemyre. This is an opportunity for the Yankees to break it open. So the Yankees, after Jay Gibbs singles, are going to bring in Bill Robinson. And then uh, it's going to be Lindy McDaniel, who actually played it, pitched in this game. Now, uh, I'm learning all these players. Lindy McDaniel. Um, it's a right-hander. I used him last week in, in the, uh, one of the earlier starts. 
trying to track him down now. So I'm getting, uh, I've never really played with the 69 Yanks, and it's a little bit before my time. So I'm kind of learning, learning all these players. Well, I can't find Lindy McDaniel at all. Uh, Johnson, Ken Johnson, Kekich, Steve Hamilton, Jack Aker, Fritz Peterson, Al Downing, Len Omer, and then I have, uh, uh, you know what, I may have put, I may have put him in with, uh, with the senators that I used these senators is probably he's probably in with the senators I'm going to pull the senators envelope let me show you okay all right here we go tigers and anything do the tigers as well Let's see. Then there's Dan. I may have thrown it into the batch with the Washington Senators. Don't know. Uh, don't see him there. Let's see if he's in here. Pasqual. Okay. And I got these envelopes. I'll show you what they look like. Got them uh, on eBay. Pretty cool. Don't use rubber bands, my friends. If you use rubber bands, and you'll be very, very sorry very, very quickly. Uh, so I can't find Lyndon McDaniel in here with the Senators. I played the Tigers. Let's, let's take a look at the Tigers. He may have Denny McLean. He may have pitched against the Tigers. And if not, we're going to have to go in a different direction. Game is tied here, 3-3. Three to three. And, uh, and let me look around amongst the, the batters, the Yankee batters. Let's see if he's hiding with the batter somewhere, Frank. Come on, Woods. Woods, isn't he Rolling Stone? He's a Gene Michael, Ron Woods, Little, John Ellis, Devin Munson, Frank. I can't find I can't find that anywhere. You know what? So we're gonna have to use somebody else. Um, Hamilton. Mike Kickich. Kickich was a reliever as well. A lefty. Kenny Johnson, Stan Bonson. I know Bonson pitched, so I'm gonna bring him in. All right, so let's continue. I know what I'm doing now. Um, I cannot find Lindy McDaniel. I know he pitched. I'm going to have to take my time and go through the two other teams that they played. All right, so we have uh, – it's the top of the eighth. The game is tied at three on the Bobby Mercer leadoff home run here. Uh, Bill Landis was brought in to replace uh, Stange, and he's a lefty, and he's going to face uh, Bill Robinson. We're not going to pull him for a lefty-righty to do that because then uh, what's to stop the uh, the Yankees manager from going back? And then we'll, we'll spend more time just switching in, in and out players and doing anything else here. And I already took enough time from our busy schedule to look for uh, McDaniel, who actually pitched in this game, and I wanted to use him. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's roll for Robinson. Bases are loaded, so this is a great opportunity for the Yankees to take the lead here in the top of the eighth inning. Here's the pitch from Landis. It's going to be a two, so that's going to be off Robinson's card versus lefties. A 2-6, and that looks good for the Yankees. It's a 1-17 to double split die. A one, either way, a 2-6 a over here against a righty would have been a walk. Uh, so they would have definitely taken the lead either way. Um, but they decided to go with Landis. And uh, it's a 1-17 to double. So let's see if we can get that roll for the Yankees here and uh, potentially give uh, Stottlemyre 
his third victory of the year if they can hold on through the next two innings and see what happens. So we don't want to roll an 18, 19, or 20. So we're shaking the dice, and let's see. And that's a two. So that's going to be a double. At least two runs will score, and it's it's a double to left field. So uh, a two-six versus a left. It's a double to left field. And it gives us the potential to score Gibbs, the catcher, from first base. Gibbs is a 1-12 to runner. Let me double-check that. He is a 1-12 to running. And then the left fielder is Yastrzemski, who's a minus 3. So that was put, put him at a 9. I believe it's a plus 2 because there's two outs. So that would put him back at an 11. And uh, you know what? That's 50 chance. That's 500. That's better than Clark, who's a two-something hitter, very low twos. So that's going to be a big, huge pinch hit double into the left field corner. Scores Hall, Jimmy Hall, scores Tommy Tresh. And they're waving Gibbs home. And we're going to roll. Here it goes. To 13. It's going to be out at the plate. So Gibbs is thrown out at the plate, and we're going to call it a 7-2. Oops. Uh, yeah, we did that right. And uh, let's write in the double here. Double, big double, two-run double. Pinch hit double. And, um, and that's going to be the third out there. That's going to be one, two, three, third out. And the Yanks score three big runs. Here in the top of the eighth inning on one, two, three hits, two of which were extra base hits. And they now lead it by a score of uh, five to three. So Yanks up five to three in the eighth inning. And we go to the bottom of the eighth now. We go to the bottom of the eighth. So uh, we're going to bring in Bonson, Stan Bonson. He's going to pitch, and he's going to be facing Moses uh, Landis, who's probably, we're probably going to see a pinch hitter for Landis. And um, that's what we're going to do. So Mel Stahlmeyer is out of the game, but he stands to win this if the Yankees hold on. They need to hold on for a couple of innings here at Fenway. And uh, I have to bring in a pinch hitter. Pinch hit in this game, Schofield and Billy Conigliaro. So Dick Schofield pinch hit in this game. So we're going to bring him into pinch hit. All right, let's see. So it's a new pitcher. And uh, we're going to add a color here. It's going to be green. The new pitcher is going to be green for the Yankees. It's going to be Stan Bonson. I'm going to write that in. All right. There we go. And we're going to roll now for uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry Moses, the catcher. And that's going to be off Moses' card, a three, a three versus a righty, three, six. That's going to be a double to left field. A big double. That's his third hit of the game, his second double of the game. So he's having a great day. Uh, let's look at what he actually batted. He batted 300. He's a 300 hitter. Jerry Moses, catcher four, uh, catcher four zero. All right, so then it's going to be a pinch hitter for Landis. We're going to bring in Schofield, who's a switch hitter. So Dick Schofield, so we're going to write him in. Pinch hitter. There you go. Put this line here. This tells us we have a pinch hitter. And see what happens. Here's a pitch from Bonson. It's a 3-5 now. A 3-5. 3-5 is a strikeout. So Schofield down on strikes. 
outnumber one. And it's going to be Andrews, Mike Andrews. Now, Mike Andrews has walked three times and then grounded to first. Bring this here and like that. Fit it the whole thing into the. All right, here goes. Mike Andrews run around second base. Yankees are up five to three in the bottom of the eighth. It's a one six. So it's going to be off Andrews' card. A one six. It's popped up to the right side. First baseman Pepitone. And Clark converged, but Pepitone calls him off and makes the catch. So it's a pop three, out number two. And it's Dalton Jones. Dalton Jones is 0 for 4 today. He's the first baseman. Lefty swinging at bats from the left side. All right, a 3 5. Versus the righty, 3-5. It's going to be a split die, triple-double. So a run is going to score. At least one run is going to score and make it a 5-4 to four ball game on this, regardless of how we roll the split. And that's a 19, so it's going to be a double. And we'll double-check it, a 3-5 double. And that's an RBI double. And that's going to score Moses. It's a five to four ball game now. Five to four ball game in the bottom of the eighth. The Yankees are up. And it's Carl Yastrzemski, Hall of Fame Carl Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski batted 255 with 40 home runs. And it's potential that we walk him to pitch to Joe LaHood because he batted 188, but of course. They didn't know that at, the, at that time. This is the beginning of the season. So they're waiting for him to break out. So uh, we know that. And uh, we're going to use that. Um, and we're going to walk Yastrzemski intentionally. Intentional walk, first and second. That does put the go-ahead run on base. And uh, I'm not a big fan of doing that. And uh, let's see if we have a lefty that we can bring in here. Lyle pitched. I think Sparky Lyle is a lefty, is he not? I believe Sparky Lyle is a lefty. All right, Sparky Lyle is a lefty, I believe. And... Uh, and I'm going to have to go through everybody again to find Lyle now. Got a mess going here today. Gene Mike Ryan. Right, I can't find Lyle for some reason. I don't know what I do with the Boston. Did I put him in with the with Boston? I him over here, Lyle. I don't know what I did with, with Sparky Lyle. Oh, there he is. Okay. I put him in with Boston. Don't know why I did that. All right. All the players are pretty new to me, so, you know, so uh, it is what it is there. All right. So Sparky Lyle is a lefty, and he's going to come in. Blue now. Okay. So Lyle. He's going to come in here and uh, to pitch to LaHood. And you know what? Boston is going to counter. Boston will counter with Billy Canigliaro. So Boston is going to say, uh, hold on a second. And it's going to be Billy Canigliaro, the right-hander, who's going to come in. And he's going to replace LaHood in, in center field. So he's going to pinch hit. So he's going to pinch hit here. 
with the go ahead run at first base and Canigliaro. Let's look and see what he did that year. Got a 288 and an 80 at bats. He does pinch hit in this game, so he is available for pinch hitting. All right, so here goes. Let's line these up a little bit, make them a little neater. Sparky Lyle versus Billy Canigliaro. And that's going to be a 2 9 off Canigliaro against a left hander. A 2 9 is a strikeout. Sparky Lyle comes in and does the job. He has potential to a future closer for the Yankees. I'm seeing that in my crystal ball. Now, he was the closer uh, for the Yankees when, when I started uh, watching and remember watching a lot of baseball, you know, when I was, say, 9, 10, that sort of thing. Uh, he was the, the, the main closer for the Yankees before Goose Gossage, 76, 77, 78, that type of thing. It was Sparky Lyle who was the man. So it's one, one hit, two hits, two hits, and one run. The score is 5-4. to four. We go to the top of the ninth. Benny, uh, uh, Billy Canigliaro is going to be playing center field, and he's a my, three minus one E16. Three minus one E16. There he is. He's in the center field. All right. And um, for the Yankees, it's going to be the leadoff batter, Clark. Got a huge mess going here. And it's uh, so we're going to have a new pitcher now. Oh, wait a second. Sparky Lyle was with Boston. <laughs> All right. So we can't do that. Sparky Lyle is not with the Yankees yet. So we brought in Sparky Lyle for the Yankees. We're going to have to retry, retrace our steps a little bit. Um, let's retrace our steps. So Sparky Lyle is with Boston. I just realized that. I wonder. Okay. So we've got LaHood. And let's see if the Yankees have a left-handed closer. And maybe he's going to be with the... All right. Let's see what happens here in New York, New York, New York. Okay, I see what's going on. Boston. Let's see who the Yankees have. Pitching card, Johnson. All right. Lefty reliever, Al Downing. Uh, who's left? We have Fritz. Now he's a starter. Hamilton. Lefty, he's a reliever. Okay, Steve Hamilton is going is the one who's going to face. Um, we're going to do exactly the same thing is going to happen, except instead of Lyle, we're bringing in a guy named Steve Hamilton, because I mi I mixed up, and Hamilton, uh, uh, Lyle, did not play with the Yankees at this point, um, and I just have him imprinted in my memory as a Yankee. So B Bonson's going to be replaced um, by the lefty, Hamilton, to pitch to LaHood. But then they're going to bring in Billy Canigliaro. Let's see if we can find Billy here. Andrew, there he is. Okay, so he's going to face Billy Canigliaro. And we rolled a, a two... Uh, what was it? A 2-9. We rolled a 2-9, so everything's going to stay the same. Except it wasn't Lyle who came into pitch. It was Hamilton. Uh, Hamilton's a lefty. And we brought in the lefty to face the lefty hitting LaHood. But uh, then they pinch hit for him with Billy Canigliaro. And it was uh, off the batter's card versus a left-handed pitcher. Right? And it was a 2-9. It's a strikeout. So we go to the next inning. Everything stays the same. Thank God for that. And now, 
Landis was pinch hit for. So we're going to have to. Now we're going to bring in uh, Lyle. Hallelujah. But Lyle is going to be on the other side. Sparky Lyle is going to be pitching for the Red Sox, who he was with in 69. Eventually becomes a Yankees closer. I know in the mid to late 70s, he becomes the Yankees closer. So that is uh, the fact. So Sparky Lyle is going to pitch for the Yankee, uh, for the Red Sox now against his future team. And um, let's see what we got going here. Oh, the nose is not as long as strong. Okay. All right, so all these guys are out. They're out of the picture, and it's going to be Horace Clark. There we go. Got everything figured out now. Horace Clark. Now, Horace Clark is 1 2 0 for 3 with a sacrifice. It's the top of the ninth inning. It's a 5 to 4 ball game. We're trying to hold this game, this victory, for Mel Stottlemyre playing his uh, memorial replay. And here goes the pitch from Lyle to Clark, and that's a 2 8. So that's going to be off Clark's card against a lefty. A 2-8 is a line out to second base. So out number one. And it's Jerry Kenny, another lefty. And that's a 2-9. This is a lefty pitcher. A 2-9 is a grounder to second. Out number two. And it's Bobby Mercer, who, who's two for four. And he um, he actually tied the game in the top of the eighth with a solo shot, ballpark solo shot. shot. It's a 1-6 now, a 1-6, and that's a fly ball at the center for out number three. So three up, three down for Sparky Lyle. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. The bottom of the ninth, and it's going to be uh, Tony Conigliaro. It's going to be facing Hamilton. Steve Hamilton. So Tony Conigliaro is going to be facing. Let's put it on top since the Yankees are away. Uh, Steve Hamilton is going to be facing Tony Conigliaro, a right-handed batter, who is one for four on the day. And this creates a situation where should we bring in, uh, let's see who the Yankees have here. Um, that is a closer, 14 save, J Jack Aker. Jack Aker is going to come in for the Yanks. Jack Aker, and we're going to use red. Aker is going to go at least three batters for sure. And it's a right-hander is going to pitch against Conigliaro, uh, Tony Conigliaro this time. Okay, that's a 4-7. A 4-7 is a walk. So the tying run is on base now. So a 4-7 versus a right-handed batter is a walk. You can see that right there. And we are going to go to George Scott. Now, George Scott's not going to be bunting. It's a deep bunter, and he's a kind of a power hitter. Now, Scott batted 253 with 16 home runs. So he's not a real power hitter just yet, but he does have some power. He has five triples and 14 doubles. So we are going to swing away with Scott, and that's 211. 211 is a ground ball C, so that's a... First base unassisted. The runner goes to second. Conigliaro is a 1 to 12. Not the fastest player on the team. I guess we could bring in a pinch runner. Uh, that's the Yankees. Pinch runner. Boston. What do we have here? We have a, a young Reggie Smith, 1 to 16. Uh, unlock. 
right. I'm going to bring in Reggie Smith, uh, but then I don't know who can play first base. A third base guy is a third baseman. Who can we bring in to play third base? This is a pitcher. Oh, we have a guy named, uh, well, he doesn't play third base. It's another pitcher. George Thomas. George Thomas plays third base. So he could come in and play third base. Right. I'm going through all the pitchers that Boston has. We've got a bunch of pitchers here. I have a guy from Baltimore. I don't know why Baltimore. Oh, I know how that happened. Okay, just put him up here. That's when I was separating the cards. All right, so in the bottom of the ninth, time run is at second base. There's one out. It's Jack Aker, the Yankee closer. He had, I think, 15, 16 saves on the season. Uh, 14 saves. 82 innings pitched, 317 ERA. So it's uh, Rico Petroselli, the batter. Uh, we're going to pinch run for Canigliaro. Wait a second. Okay, Canigliaro is at second right field. So we're going to pinch run with uh, Reggie Smith. But we may want to use him to pinch hit. Let's see what Reggie Smith batted, 309. Hmm. So if we pinch hit with him, who else can we pinch hit with him? The other guy is Don Locke. Don Locke is 1 to 14. And that's uh, two points better than. Yeah, we're going to leave it the way it is. All right. So Petroselli, Conigliaro. It's a 2 6. A2 versus the righty. 2 6 is a walk. Petroselli walks. And Petroselli hit a second inning two run home run. So now the go-ahead run is on at first. The go-ahead run is on at first. And it's going to be Jerry Moses, the batter. Jerry Moses. Now Moses, we're going to let him bat. Uh, good, good hitter. 300 hitter. And he's four for five today. So he's got, uh, I'm sorry, no, he's three for four today. Two doubles and a single. So he's definitely hot. He's got the hot bat. So here goes. Bottom of the ninth. Yankees versus the Red Sox at Fenway. And that's a five. A five off the pitcher's card. Moses a righty. A five nine. It's a strikeout. A strikeout. Now he is relief three, I guess start four. All right, so that's a strikeout. Without number two. And next batter is the pitcher spot, the pitcher spot. And Lyle is there. He's going back into the dugout. And we're going to bring out Reggie Smith, the 300 hitter. Switch hitter. So he's the type of guy that you definitely want. Now, I know he ends up in Los Angeles and all those great L.A. teams. So replacing uh, the pitcher, Lyle, we have Reggie Smith. And there's two outs here in the bottom of the ninth. The tying run is at second base with, at, uh, with Canigliaro. First base is Petroselli. They both walked. And it's Jack Aker or Acker versus Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith is batting from the left side. Now, he's a 300 hitter. Take a quick peek at his stats. Smith is a 300 hitter. 29 doubles, 7 triples, 25 home runs. Not playing in this game, but played the whole season. Here he goes. Reggie Smith. That's a five off the pitcher. A five five. That's gonna be trouble. That's gonna either potentially tie the game. Well, with with Reggie Smith with 25 home runs, that's gonna be either a home run or a triple. So either way, it's a, a game winning hit. 
but we just have to see if uh, on the split die, if it's a home run, a, a game winning home run, three run homer, or it's a um, game winning triple. Which really, uh, yep, we'll give him a triple on that. A lot of guys talk back and forth. Hey, should you give him a triple on a walk off? On, on a, and uh, hey, I don't worry about it. it. Says triple, I give him a triple. I don't know. Either way, game's over. That's all I know. And that ball is hit off the wall, and that's going to roll away from the uh, outfielder. And one run scores. Tie. The game is tied at five. And around comes Petroselli, and game is over. And uh, it's a walk-off, two RBIs for the pinch hitter, Reggie Smith, off the pitcher's card. And I guess we can give him a triple. I don't know if it matters all that much. Um, but there was two outs, so we'd probably get a double. But uh, it is what it is. Game over. Mel gets a no decision. He's 2-1. and one. Yankees lose it. By a score of six to five. So Yank uh, Boston six, Yanks five. Uh, winning pitcher is going to be Lyle. Losing pitcher is going to be Aker, Acker, whatever you want to call him. Doesn't matter to me at this point. And that's uh, all she wrote for Mel Stoudemire Memorial Game Four. Um. Reggie Smith comes off the bench as a pinch hitter. That's from the left side against Acker and connects, drives one for a double slash triple, uh, driving in two runs. Uh, Conigliara had walked and Petroselli had walked, and that was the time run and the go-ahead run. So the final score, despite the big Yankee comeback in the top of the eighth inning, it's a big Red Sox. Uh, Red Sox come back in the bottom of the ninth at Fenway, and the crowd here goes wild for Reggie Smith. Why they ever trade a player like this to the Dodgers is beyond me, but uh, hope you enjoyed the broadcast and the chat.